a city of angels with the palm trees I see the lights, camera actions all around me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me I'm trying to win now, they used to doubt me Cause I'm in LA with it, for the vibes I got a Californian tea up on the ride They ask me how I'm living, I'm living right, yeah Now it's you and me cause there ain't no switching sides, yeah Bonjour, John Lopez UK today, and today we're reviewing quite a different car in BeamNG Drive. Now, normally I'd say the car name at this point and stuff, and then we move on. I can't really pronounce this specific car. Now, of course, the English version of this would be the Sharia FCV, but today we'll be reviewing the Chevy CV. Is how the French say it, so apparently we're doing that, so, uh, don't know what to say, let's just move right into it, this is the Chevier Sevier, and then, right, and we've got loads of variants of this exact model, so, uh, I'm gonna try to pronounce all of them, so, let's start from the base model right here, um, Chevier Vivas, uh, we'll get it in black, why not, I really have no care for this one, Let's just start from the base model and work our way up. So, interior hasn't loaded. Now it's lo it's not loaded yet. I uh, I just logged into BMG just now, so give it a minute to load. But anyway, this car is a hot hatch from the 2020s and upwards. I've actually noticed that's why it didn't load in. I was on freeze. Right, so this is a hot hatch from the 2020s and up. It's... What I'm seeing, I'm seeing heavy influence from, from the front view. I see a bit of Renault Clio. Um, I see, a, what else, the Toyota Yaris. Oh, actually, the 2021 Focus. I see a bit of that in the grill. Don't really know why. I do see Peugeot 308 as well, actually. So, those are a couple of things, although pretty common cars. But those are all the hat hatches I can see in this. Actually, if you look at it from this angle... You'll see a bit of Mercedes, a um, A class, A forty five uh, AMG. You see a bit of that, and then the back here we just have yeah. Although it does look like the Renault. No, it doesn't. Does it? I I can't tell to be honest. But it's it's definitely based off a load of French cars altogether, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is the uh. Chevier uh, Alright, so this is the uh, Chevier uh, Vivas. Um, so this is the base model. Let's just see what it comes with. Jesus Christ, this is a nice seat. So those are the seats. This is the steering wheel. Quite modern, and it's a nice hot hatch. Comfort mode, of course, we're driving it. I've just noticed something. The RPM style, um, the tachometer, is actually backwards in this car which is quite odd i've never seen that before and then we've got jesus that is an enormous map bigger than any other car we've seen and it's it's tracing it at about five frames a second so it's not too bad from the exterior design i do love a base model and this is absolutely gorgeous just having the base model having all of the not so curvy lines and everything i mean this thing is curvy and stuff it's it's not properly thick, but it's nice. Well, that really does fit in the French streets. Now, the end gets cut off my name thing, but, you know, I don't really care. Anyway, let's go for a drive in the Chevy Vivas. This is the base model. Comfort mode. Does 0 to 60 in about... Yeah, I'll give that 11 seconds. We'll just say that. Because I'm not too much of a... Jesus Christ, my frame lag. Right. So that's this car, not much. And actually, if you notice, one thing that's unique with this specific car, if you look in the dials as I turn the ESP to red, the sports mode, these change into sports mode. Well, it's just a bit more performance. Of course, a teen wouldn't want the base model, and they'd be quite pissed at their parents for it. And then you could also turn ESP off, which gives it a nice grey, just to show that the ESP is off. 
which is not ideal for a car. And these are actually hubcaps, just so everyone's clear of that. Yeah, they're hubcaps. Not real alloys. But anyway, let's move on to one of the worst nightmares ever. Um, okay, so we've got this one, which you've got the... So this one's actually got a diesel engine. This one's got the automatic, you'll see. Now, this one's got the petrol engine, and this one here's got the diesel. As you see, 110D. Now, this is based off BMW's sort of thing. Oh, no, I can't pronounce this. Right, so this is the Chevy Air Bugwijk, I believe. I, I don't know how to pronounce this particular model. Chevy Air Bugwijk. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. This right here is a it's a crossover variant with a three-cylinder engine. And I thought I might as well spice it up a bit. Let's get the green one. Let's get the diesel one. Because why not? Let's get a bit more uh, out of it. So this is what it is. And if you're asking if those are hubcaps, they are. Sad to, uh, sad, very sad to say that. But uh, it is a crossover. And looking at the interior, it does have a bit more space. Looks a bit nicer. I mean, a bit more tidier. It's got manual as well. As well, and it's got the... This is actually very futuristic. And actually, let me just show you one feature of this car. We're already six minutes in, and I've got one car done. You can actually, with this particular model, you can grab the dashboard, and you could damage it quite bad, actually. For example, if you... Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you see, everything turns off when you damage it. All right, let's get back on the road. Let's see what this crossover can do. Also, I should display the lights. So we've got the headlights, and then we've got the high beams. That's those, and then we've got the rears, which are just those. And you've got those reflectors at the bottom, which are actually tail lights. If you do use them, and if they do break, you'll see it. Yeah, so that's about it. And actually, I don't know if this one's supposed to be a North American car as well, because I do see that third brake light up there. But, you know, that could just be all the safety purposes. Right, I'm getting a bit bored of this particular model. Let's move on to the next one because this video is about to be 40 minutes long if I don't hurry up. So we've got the Chevier Vivas uh, 160, which has got the a high-end model with four-cylinder engine. Now, now we're sort of talking. Now, of course, this is very similar to these, and this one does have a black roof, of course. Now, these are a bit different because these are actually 150Ds, which are... Um, a bit more interesting, so I thought I might as well just replace it with this, and then we could head out with it. So, interior is nothing much different. We've got the first automatic, and it's got a pretty futuristic looking uh, gear lever, and we're already at 50 cruising uh, down the motorway, and those those reflections are quite wrong, actually. Yeah, those are not those are not particularly right, but it doesn't matter. And we've got the uh, the sunroof and moonroof actually as well, so. Panoramic sunroof, that's pretty nice. Can't tint it or anything. And let's see if we cut engine power, this displays battery. So it is pretty high tech with it. And it does lower it down in RPMs before coming to a complete stop. So it is quite an interesting car. I just don't prefer to have the tachometer go backwards in this car. But anyway, that's this model. Not, too mu not much too interesting. And then we got the Polizia, which is, I believe... That, I can't I can't remember if this is French police or if this is German police at this point. No, Polizei is German, so this is French police. The environmental lighting is good. So light bar up front, we've got Polizei on the side, stand delivery, Polizei on the rear. We've got Polizei, Polizia, Polizia, oh my god, I said that wrong. Standard French siren, nothing too interesting. Right, let's crash into a wall. And that's as interesting as we're going to get. Right, let's move on. So after that, we've got the crossover variant, which is the the Chevier Teguike. Sorry, I can't pronounce this one. And we've actually got a 150Q var DQ variant, which is a diesel engine with all-wheel drive. So really, let's just check this thing out. Let's replace it, and let's just see what it does. All-wheel drive. And if you're wondering if we've gotten hubcaps... These are indeed alloy wheels. 
So, we've ditched the hubcaps, and this one actually has a much stranger design, actually, that you will notice uh, throughout all of these. There's a pretty unique uh, design with all of these. And it's also a different interior. I, think, I do think these are uh, different textures. Yeah, these are definitely different textures. So, different models have different trim levels and different textures as well. And this one has a full panoramic sunroof. Pretty nice. And actually, might as well just get the... Might as well get a quick flyby shot. So this car is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Right, let's come to a stop. And let's get our next variant to show. We're already 10 minutes in, we haven't gotten too far. We've got... This one. Uh, Chevy Air Vivace, um 190 SD, which is a sport, which has sport suspension. Diesel engine, of course. We'll... We'll get the diesel. Why not? Why not? People say electricity will take over, but I like diesel a bit more. This one's... Oh, this one. I like this one a lot. I re oh, I really like this one a lot. Red interior. We've got automatic. That's what, a bit sad. We've got all black alloy wheels. You got the exhaust pipes in the back. I like this one. This is a proper car. If I was back in the UK right now, you'd see me go going down the motorway with this car properly. Just going at it at my at night with the boys, but you know this right here is a proper car. Red interior. I absolutely love this thing. I don't know if we get. No, we don't have right-hand drive variant of this car, so that's pretty sad. But this is pretty nice. I do really love this variant of this car. I should have used this in the thumbnail, but yeah, we're using the rally variant. Anyway, let's get into an accident, like an average teenager would. Yeah, that's an average teenage car accident. Right, let's move on. That was the all black one, that's this one. We've got this one, which is a bit more sportier than that. Although it's not diesel. And then we've got, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. And then we've got the Polizia variant of the crossover version. I'm not even going to pronounce it. Ooh, this one's got a load of power. Sports mode. Yeah, this one's got a load more power than the other ones. And it's got a load of body roll as well. You guys will probably see that. Anyway, that's really all that's interesting about it. And we've got sirens. Alright, I've done two rotations. Let's move on. Right, so... We've got... This one, which is the crossover variant, which is actually a sports crossover variant. Just lowered down with... All-wheel drive, powerful four-cylinder engine. We might as well just get it, just to see what it does. Oh, that is mighty quick. Right, I've had enough fun in this car already. All right, let's move on. So, we've got the next one, which is the Chevier Vivas uh, E, which is a mid-range electric model. And then that's I think that's the only electric model we have. Oh, no, we have that as well. Right, so this one right here is, um, well, for one thing, it's green. For a second, acceleration is quite slow. Although, it does get up to speed, so I do just want to see how quick it is with no ESP, which is full power mode. We are getting some wheel spin. Oh my god, look at those seats. Look at the interior as well. Look at that. That looks that looks spectacular, honestly. Although I wouldn't necessarily own this in real life. Thinking about this twice, so this is a bit embarrassing. Oh, we're actually going 100. I didn't think this thing could hit 100. Right, so. Not saying in hybrid and petrol, not... Oh my god. I can't talk right now because I'm trying to pronounce French as well as English. Right, so I wouldn't particularly get this exact model of car. I've got other models as well. I'm going to go for... Well, we've already got that. We've got this one, which is the... Not going to pronounce it. I can't pronounce this one. Not French. Can't do that. But anyway, Gen... 
Uh, no, I'm not going to do that even. It's it's like the SWAT team in in France. That's what this is. And it's got a miniature light at the top. Right, we've done three rotations. I'm going to move on right now because this one's got nothing interesting. It's literally the sports variant with the siren on top. That's about it. It's literally this with a siren. So, that's these. Okay, and then after that we've got the Ar Arisian. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Right, we're going to go for the... I'm not going to say this name. It's the QE variant of this. It's the long-range dual motor automatic electric crossover. Right. Let's see what this thing can do. Ooh, quite good acceleration. Let's put it into sports mode real quick. Launch. Go, go, 100 before we crash. Can we get 100 before we crash? We got 112 before we crashed. Not too bad. And we've got a decent crash, actually. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just trying to flip it over so I can show the viewers the accident and the horrifying terror of this car. There you go. That's what it looked like. All right. Um, let's get a better view of it. There you go. Right. Let's move on. So, because I've got to, I've got to show all the parts of this as well. So it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass car. You've got this one, which is this, but more rally spec. This one has an actual livery. So we might as well move on to the track day variant of the the crossover variant whatever it is it's green that's nice a difference from once very track focused very uh, a lot of downforce proper angle although I wouldn't be able to handle it Oh, I'm handling it quite well. And let's get into a car accident like all the people and all the Nürburgring famous people, of course. Right, so that's your car accident. Anyway, let's move on now and because we're not we're over with that model, we've got the Well these are those, except the bit more civilian packaged and not so racy. And then we've got this one, which is the the, ra the full race variant, the sequential with delivery and stuff like that. Is it front wheel? Is this in front wheel drive? This is front wheel drive. Well, I mean, the front wheel drive cars can be race cars if we can't see. Oh, there was that Geely thing that was front wheel drive. That was a race car. Ooh, that produced 600 horsepower from an inline four engine. But anyway, I've got... Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the hill climb variant. Which is a hill climb car, of course. It's actually got a wide body, which is um, quite like that. This thing is mighty quick. We've lost the wide body, and we've gotten into an accident. This thing be done proper at night. It's a proper car at midnight, just racing down the motorway with your friends. Right, and then we've got the asphalt variant, which is most likely an asphalt racer that's souped up with loads of power. Jesus Christ. Zero to 100 in like eight, in like six seconds. That's proper quick. Imagine a teenager doing a ram raid in this. Right, we're pushing out 30, 38 uh, PSI. Speed of 132, 136 gear. We've gone into a car accident, flat tire. Flat tire, big car accident. We're gonna hit the guardrail. Definitely hit the guardrail. That's the end of it quite interesting actually um let's get another variant the last variant that we're gonna spawn in we've got this one which is a ra a full rally version of whatever whatever the hell we were driving which i actually think would be proper fit for this right here Oh, 
I take back what I said as I binged it into a tree. But, um... Right, I've got to show off all of the car modifications now with the base model. So let's do this, and then let me just do this. We're already 20 minutes in at this point, so I don't even know what to say for myself. I don't want to do it in the tunnel because then it just looked like a... I don't know, I'll just do it out here. Right. Alright, let's get some modifications. Paint designs, we've got the racing designs. I'm just going to go over these really quickly. This is the first racing design, 166. Right, after that we've got the French SWAT team design. The Polizia design, which is actually a ghost livery currently because something... Oh my god, I need to change these colours. No, is it not... Is it not this? Oh my god. What... What is it? Okay, we're getting the white. Right, we got the prototype camouflage thing, so you don't see all the lines and everything. That's the Polizia, Polizia livery. We got the white one. We've got this one right here, which is this livery properly. Uh, we've got the rally livery, which is the rally livery, of course. And then we've got this camouflage thing. That's not really camouflage, but it's it's a thing. So I'm not going to care. Let's move on to what we've got now, the body. Right, my phone's at 20% battery, so pretty bad. Navigation unit will get beam navigate. Uh, we don't need beam navigation. We do not need beam navigation at all. Right, interior design, we're going to go for this one. The first one. Damn, that looks beautiful. Oh my god, look at the seat. Look at the stitching on the seats. This is amazing. Right, after that, we've got the next. Which I assume... Oh my, this is the white, that's, that's absolutely brilliant. And then we've got the sports, which is probably the red one. That is nice, right there, proper, proper naughty. They don't, they don't change by the lights, so I guess we'll leave that. Technic, well, whatever the hell this was, this is the base, the base one, whatever the hell the uh, base car gets. And then we've got active, which is, um... Well, it's active, so I just prefer a bit of, I don't know, a bit of a unique look. So I'm going to go for the next, as this one's just proper unique. Right, after that, we're going to go to, oh, actually, we can, no, we can't swap this out. Right, so after that, we've got gasoline, petrol tank, windscreen, left headlight. I actually do want to see what other headlights these offer. We've got these headlights as well which actually do not fit for this car. So this particular model doesn't fit those. But we uh, I don't want to switch to that one. I just don't prefer it. We've got the trunk floor. We've got all this other stuff as well. Radiator. Let's get a ultra high performance radiator. Do we do we see any change? It's the same thing. Roll cage. We might as well swap on a roll cage. Sorry about that thing in the middle of the screen. That's the roll cage. Driver's seat. Well, actually, let's get a passenger front race seat so we can just compare them. That's what they look like. I just prefer the base one because it just looks nicer. We've got the roll cage. We've already got that. Uh, don't worry, done that. We've got this thing, which is something. Really don't care what that is. The side skirts, of course. Oh my god, we've got different variants of it. Steering wheel. I just like this one. I really like this steering wheel, so we'll keep that. Chassis stiffening, we'll do that, actually, because why the hell not? Strut bar, why not? Tow bar, why not? You never know if you need gonna need to tow something. Under tray, whatever, we'll get. No, we don't want skid plates. We do not want those. Uh, side molding, why not? Let's just see what that does. Oh, it's that piece right there, why not? Front bumper, let's get. Emergency lights, blue flashes. Those are nice. I, do, I really like those. Front EU plate. Can we get a, uh, a front number plate? Just a regular... I just want to see what American... Oh, it's dual decker. Yeah, that still looks cool, though. Right, so after that, we've got the rear bumper, which we will keep that. We'll keep this one as well. Let's get this one. Why not? I just want to see it. Yeah, and then we'll... Yeah. Oh, that... That's brilliant. I love that. I absolutely love this car. For many reasons now, because... Not only because it's a nice car, it's just... Lightweight interior. 
What what's gone lightweight? Oh, that's gone. That's uh, that's where beam navigation will come in. Oh, and this is going through the rear seats. How interesting. I I don't know what to think about this one right now. Right. So after Jesus Christ. Okay, manual shifter. We got shift light. We got the the single shift light because why not? Gauges will go for. Uh, I just have to see that. That's interesting right there. That's very nice. Gauges, and then we'll go for 200 miles per hour because apparently we can do that. Yeah, we can hit 200 in this thing. Right, and then we've got the doors. I'm not going to care about that. Safety and electronics. We don't need safety and electronics. Who needs that? Engine, let's get the 2.5 liter inline 5 engine. And let's modify this thing to the absolute max. Nitrous, of course, we'll get the... Engine mounts, ultra heavy duty engine mounts. Stock long block, stage three long block. We just go straight to straight stage three. Stage three supercharger as well. We, we're going to want that. Right, we can't get too much of this. That's all good. Engine management. Let's get a stage three system for it. Exhaust. Let's get the tuned exhaust. Am I supposed to be seeing a... Wait, exhaust pipes, I need those. Single exhaust pipe. Hmm. That's odd. I don't see it. Right, oh, oh it's supposed to be here, but... No, I don't see it at all. Transmission will grab the... The racing six-speed sequential. Because why not? Um, I'll have to see what the performance of this thing does at the end. Plain roof, body color. We've got the black roof, panoramic sunroof. Black panoramic summer roof, the carbon fiber roof as well. We'll get this because I just technically prefer it. It's my opinion. Oh, that's what it is. Well, that's quite nice. I like that. Right, and then we've got the roof rails, roof rack. Yeah, not too bad. I've got to make a complete custom variant of this car because I absolutely love it. Accessories, let's get the roof bar. Yeah, we'll get those. And then the on the roof bar, let's get a mattress. Does it wiggle? Yeah, it wiggles. I like that. Right. What have we got left? We're 27 minutes in, so... Tailgate. Let's just check the tailgate. Let's see what we got. We've got this lettering, which I will keep that, actually. I like that. The spoiler. Let's get the rally wing. Now, that's dope, isn't it? I like that one. That's nice. Tailgate glass. I don't care about that. Tow hitch. Nothing for the tow hitch. And that's that's about it. So, just making sure everything is done. Yes. That's about it for this car. It's definitely interesting. Definitely an amazing car. I really recommend it. I absolutely love this car. Alright, we'll catch you all next time. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.